Welcome to Prayer at Breakfast this Friday, the 29th of January. In today's Gospel, it's the famous story of Jesus walking on the water. I don't know about you, but I use the euphemism if somebody's really good that they walk on water. But actually today, when I was reading the text and, and uh, last night, there was one line I didn't get. And the line was that he intended to pass them by. I don't get it. So I just start this by saying, even as a priest reading the gospel for the last 40 years, this particular line in it just seems incongruous. I don't get it. And the commentaries don't help me on it. But the message behind it is 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 fairly pertinent, actually really, really pertinent, about the disciples in a storm and Jesus walking on the water. Now, Physically and, you know, in 21st consciousness, we century consciousness, we say, what's this? But it, I think it was that they glimpsed, they glimpsed the divine in him. They glimpsed that element that was elusive, that couldn't be touched, that was beyond human reach or understanding. But what they did here were words of consolation and words that are great to hear, to be honest, in the middle of a pandemic as well. The Lord be with you this morning. A reading from Mark 6, beginning at verse 27. When evening came, the boat was out on the water and he was alone on the land. When he saw that they were straining at the oars against an adverse wind, he came toward them early in the morning, walking on the lake. He intended to pass them by. But when they saw him walking on the lake, they thought it was a ghost and cried out, for they all saw him and were terrified. But immediately he spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Then he got into the boat with them, <clears throat> and the wind ceased, and they were utterly astounded, for they did not understand about the loaves, but their hearts were hardened. This is the Gospel of the Lord. They didn't understand about the loaves. They didn't understand that your power could not be contained or understood fully, but was of God. They cried out in their need. And you said, do not be afraid. Lord, as we start this day, we cry out to you in our need. During this pandemic, that the vaccine rollout will be expedited, that the sick will be healed, that the healthcare workers will be safe, that our world will be healed, that wisdom will be given to the powerful, that in the storm of this pandemic, causing so much anguish, a voice will come through to us, say, do not be afraid, I'm with you. We need to hear that, Lord. We need to hear it deeply in our hearts. And we need, in this storm, to find safe space and passage. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <coughs> Sometimes we feel that you pass us by. That God doesn't hear. And there are many, Lord. You know the many who cry out to you. And the sound of the wind seems to draw out their, drown out their cries. And they themselves are floundering. To those this day who feel that you have passed them by in this anguish. We ask you especially to bring your grace and your love. Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks for those in the community who have been sick and have had surgery, are doing well and recovering inch by inch. We pray for those with COVID and undergoing chemo and radio and not well. Bring your healing and sustenance to your people here and across our planet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for young people who are floundering for whom the rage of the storm howls out all messages of hope. We pray for those who minister to and with young people, that they will find an anchor, that they will find safety. 
they will reach land. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And may you hear the voice of God this day in the storm, saying, Do not be afraid, I am with you, and therein find strength. God bless you this day, in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.